Okay, so let us try to understand how to find out beam reactions in case of overhanging beam or overhang beam. So suppose we are having the beam ABC which is hinged at point A and is placed on the rollers at point B and we have to find out the beam reaction in this particular case. The span length of AB is 7 meter and there is a overhang of 3 meter. So AB is 7 meter length and overhang BC is of 3 meter length. Now as shown over here, this ABC is the overhang beam in which the span length AB is 7 meter and it carries a UDL of 10 kN per meter as shown over here and at the end of this particular beam at point C there is a point load of 15 kN is acting as shown over here. So AB length is 7 meter and this overhang length BC is 3 meter and we have to find out the reactions RA and RB in this particular case. Now here we will apply the conditions of equilibrium. So the first condition of equilibrium is summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0. That is upward forces will consider them as positive whereas downward force will be negative. So RA is acting in the upward direction, RB is also acting in the upward direction. So those are positive whereas this point load 15 kN it is acting in the downward direction so it is negative and UDL load that is 10 kN per meter and it is acting over 7 meter length so total UDL load will be 10 into 7 because the meaning of UDL load is that 10 kN per meter indicates that for 1 meter length the load acting is 10 kN then for 7 meter length what is the load that is acting so this 10 into 7 so that is the total UDL load so we can say that RA plus RB this is minus 15 and this is minus 70 so that is minus 85 is equal to 0 so we can say that RA plus RB is equal to 85 so now we will apply the another condition of equilibrium summation of moments is equal to 0 and we will take moment about A. Now here we will assume that the clockwise moments they are positive and anti-clockwise moments they are negative. So taking moments about this particular point A. Now as the reaction RA it passes through the point A it will not have any particular moment about point A. So we have to start with this RB. This RB will produce the anti-clockwise moment and from B to A the perpendicular distance is 7. So RB multiplied by this 7 will produce the anti-clockwise moment and hence it is taken as negative. Now we will convert this UDL load into point load. So we know that 10 into 7 is the total UDL load and to convert it into point load allow it to act at the center of this particular length that is 7 meter. So it will be acting at 3.5 meter. Now this 15 kN will produce the clockwise moment about point A. So 15 and from C to A the perpendicular distance is 3 plus 7 that is 10. So 15 into 10 that is the moment due to this particular vertical acting load. Now the moment due to this UDL load. So 10 into 7 is the UDL load. and it is acting at the center of this 7 meter length so that will also produce the clockwise moment so 10 into 7 into 3.5 is the clockwise moment and as it is clockwise we have taken it as positive now transfer this minus rb into 7 term on the other side it will become positive so 15 into 10 that is 150 and 10 into 7 into 3.5 that is 245 so we can say that rb will be equal to 56.428 kilometer now we know that from equation 1 which we have already calculated RA is equal to 85 minus RB. Now substitute this value of RB over here. So 85 minus 56.428. So value of RA will be equal to 28.572. So in this way we can calculate the beam reactions in case of overhang beam. 